Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, today I would like to welcome you on behalf of the staff of this school, TNPI, and of course Aloha to one to Amakuku for this workshop. Let us pray. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the new day. And also we thank you for Alofa Tuval and also the, the staff of the MTI for hosting this uh, workshop. Jesus Christ, we pray. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored and privileged to be here today to open this very important workshop on biodiesel and gasification. Biodiesel is one of the alternatives that my ministry supports highly. We shall today witness and see how the biodiesel units allows to turn coconut oil into diesel. Lastly, but not least, I would like to thank all the members of the Aloha Tuval, staff of the TMTI, for making this workshop a possibility. I now declare this workshop on biodiesel and gasification open. I'm very pleased to be here again for an Aloha Tuval demonstration of biomass. As we have seen in Tuvalu, Tuvalu has a number of local available resources that can be used to both lessen its dependence on fossil fuels and to contribute to a clean environment. One resource that is often forgotten is our waste, and particularly our organic waste, which represents some 80% of our landfill. Training and reproduction is the objective of TMCI and Aloka Tuvalu Renewable Energy Training Center and ultimately spread the use of renewables throughout the nation. Here and TMTI, engineers will show us how this works. Back there. I also want to thank, of course, Gio, who, and we have not said enough, is one of the world specialists in biofuels. I also, of course, want to thank very much TMTI, the team here, and Inyota and uh, the engineers did an uh, incredible job. Mm -hmm. The other thing I want to say is there are two ways to create fuel with the coconut oil. One is with raw coconut oil or mixed coconut oil with uh, kerosene or uh, diesel. This type needs a new engine, a special kind of engine. That's why with Gio and the other time everyone, we decided to go to creating biodiesel, real diesel, transforming coconut oil, because that does not need to change the engines. So that's what we will demonstrate to you. I'm happy to be here in, uh, in Tuvalu. I was there last year. We did uh, a local made gasifier. Uh, this one, which is a small, it's a full metallic gasifier, uh, which is able to produce gas with any kind of wood chips, coco shells, for us, uh, or any, anything which is dry enough to be burned. It is able to produce gas to, to run an engine. It is also able to produce gas to, to run a burner. We will come back again to it later. And first, we will begin with this biodiesel uh, small uh, plant. We have tested this unit in my lab in France. And uh, it is able to process a batch of maximum 60 liters. The full process is going from, coming from coconut oil. And after eight hours, you have 
coconut oil is a few. So we can say if you can in one day make two batches. So it is able to produce 120 liters. We, we keep eight hours to go to sleep. So we can keep you for eight, during eight hours. And, and we will use for the demonstration one of these three buckets we did yesterday. Of course, it's not magical at all. So it needs some chemicals. It needs uh, methanol. And it needs a, it's what we call a catalyst, which is caustic soda. To have the right amount of how much methanol and catalyst you have to pour in coconut oil to have, you must first do a titration. You have to check the acidity of the soil. And you have charred. When you know that, you just mix, mix the two, place it somewhere around this unit, you start the process and it's mixing all along. As I told last year, well, uh, it's just like cooking. It's uh, our friend Utala who will demonstrate uh, how to make this tea titration first and run the, the unit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Final procedure, the soup is very good. 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 The soup ไม่ต้องเอ่อไม่ต้องเอ่อเอาตะโพดเอ่อพอเนโกเดโอเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเด
demonstrate how to make gas from uh, biomass. In that case, it's cocoa shell. It's running a bit like a stone. But it is adjusted to make a lot of gas. The stone is adjusted to make a lot of heat. We start it uh, with some charcoal. And after, when it is running, you can fill it with uh, cocoa shell. It's easier to start with charcoal. When it will be ignited, we will close the gasifier itself. It will take some maybe five, five minutes producing smokes mainly. Then after when the gas will be formed, it will burn in this small burner. And well, you can use this gas in a, in a burner for cooking. You can use it also in an engine to run the engine. Now it's burning, yes. You can come and see, you will see the flame. Okay. You just connect it. Just connect it. Just connect to the install. We can push the gas into the air inlet of the engine. So it will reduce your diesel consumption. <coughs> for sure, 50% for sure. And if you adjust a bit your air and gas mixture, you can go until 75% of, uh, of fuel saving. With the amount of charcoal you put in there, how long will it take to burn out? Um, yesterday we put not charcoal, we put uh, coconut shell at about 2 kilo for one, uh, one hour and 20 minutes. You can maybe connect uh, oh, maybe three or four burners you know, with this uh, flow of gas. I really see the flame <coughs> coming out now. <laughs> Kau <coughs> Uh, Amatuku is uh, consuming less than 100 liters of diesel each day. So if they transform uh, 100 liters of coconut oil in biodiesel, so they are, they are plenty. If they use the gas as in dual fuel mode, they will divide by two the liquid fuel consumption, at least by two. So that means that with 50 liters of biodiesel and uh, 130 kilo of cocoa shell, uh, they can produce all their electricity.